Hi YouTube, today's video is an updated version of the fuel depot mechanism that I use all the time in Factorio. Uh, it's updated for version 1.1. We got some new features and we want to take advantage of those. If you like this sort of video, hit that like, subscribe, ring that notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. I have some a couple links for you uh, in the description below. If you have a question or a comment, please also leave it below with that. Let's get to the video. All right, for this map, I'm using the Creative Mod. I don't necessarily like uh, like the in-game editor too much. I prefer to use the Creative Mod. I've got that link in the description for you below. But what I've designed here is some supply over here on the on the right side and some demand over here on the left side. And I've got a bunch of trains going back and forth between these two points. And uh, they're just delivering goods. This is this is what it's meant to be: is to simulate uh, stops along this uh, this main train line. I'm uh, showing here left-handed drive as I zoom in. But along this route, you're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of traffic. Uh, this is something very common uh, that that uh, many is the same way you would make a uh, a belt base. Many many players make a a train a train. Uh, a train bus, as you, uh, if you will, to go uh, have all their trains go along, and some sometimes it's very handy. Uh, other um, for distribution, sometimes it is uh, it's it's rough because um, one train that gets uh, hung up because of fuel gets stopped along there, and you've got all your trains backed up, and that's what we're going to avoid today. So what I have uh, designed here is uh, is two things. One is the fuel supply train. It's the purple one. Uh, the other ones are are iron and copper colored, kind of a uh, a bluish and an orangish orangish train. So you can see those are all running on coal. Uh, I want them to go uh, slowly, so I've given them a um, uh, I haven't given them the fastest fuel um, that makes the train go go as fast as they as they possibly could. I kind of want them to go slow because I'm going to demonstrate a problem with the old way. So the old way was to create a fuel supply train a fuel supply station and uh, you can name it something generic like fuel supply you may only have to have one of them and uh, what will what we'll do for uh, for this guy is just have all of your all of your coal supply feeding into it I've got some uh, um, uh, some some uh, chests here modded in that always have a coal supply and then you, uh, your commands will be something like this. You'll say fuel supply until full. And then you'll say I want it to go then to fuel depot until empty. Or uh, I have had some inactivity of, say, 10 seconds or something. And that means the train has, has offloaded all of its goods, um, but it hasn't emptied. Uh, but I want to make sure that I've offloaded as much as I can, wait for 10 seconds, and come back for a supply. So we're, that means that means I've filled up the destination uh, destination chest. So let's look at that's and that's called fuel depot. And I've got two train stations set up over here as called the fuel depot. And in fact, we will have many stations. This number will go way up, um, uh, uh, way high as your base expands because you want a fuel drop off uh, where possible. You should probably only have one of these uh, one of these fuel supplies, multiple fuel uh, drop offs or fuel depots. This is the key part here that was not here, uh, that was not given to us in pre-1.1. Um, it's called, the, it's basically the train reservation system. I'll put a link in the description below with the FFF where this is unpacked. But essentially it's called, it is a stop limit. Um, the, it, it determines the number of trains that could possibly be called at one time to this station. Previously, what we would do is we would enable and disable the station. I'll show you that in a moment. Now, next time, we're going to use this. And really, what's going on in the background is, is a train makes a reservation at a stop um, and then is cleared to pull in. One other uh, logistical note you'll see is that, uh, is that I have this enabled at all times. It's one of the debug options always called Show Rail Paths. And uh, there it is right there. What it does is... Uh, is it shows a train declares its path you'll see that you'll notice that the green path this train is on the green path it does not disappear as it consumes it may change also to a different color but it shows a, a train along a chosen path that it that it intends to go 
Um, so I just did that for visual effect. You can see there's lots of trains going uh, left and right here, and we'll use it to determine where when the train is going. So as soon as a train gets its path, it sets, it, or as soon as a train finds its path, it declares its path, and then you'll see the color, right? So uh, what would happen is, uh, is this old school station will be, um, uh, will be enabled and disabled by uh, a signal from the chest. So say we want, uh, we want this thing full, full and we're going to have uh, bots help us out with this, and I'll make some of those, and we'll say, all right, I'm going to deliver some coal from... Uh, uh, from here, I'm going to request 50 coal, and there we go, so request 50 coal, and then my supply within this robo network will be this uh, passive provider chest, and the bot will do that. You can, you can really also, um, you can also do something, something belt driven like this, if you're not at that stage of the game yet, you can do something really simple like this, and just belt it over. And that, at that point, if you're not to bots yet, you would want to block the chest off uh, so that you didn't have too much. You would have some in here. You could also do a belt system, right? Uh, belts or bots doesn't really matter for exercise. But what you would do is you would want this one full, your, uh, your supply chain uh, up to a certain level. So what I've done is I've just dragged a wire. No combinators needed. I've dragged this red wire, green wire, doesn't matter. Dragged it up here. I've checked enable, disable. You don't necessarily need to send a train. And what it, what it means is if I have under 100 coal, I'm going to enable the station. And if you look very carefully, you can see that green dot right there. It means this, the station is enabled. If, uh, and let me kill these inserters, if I put in 50, I've still not met the condition. If I've put in 75, I've still not met the condition. I'm going to put in uh, 100. I will meet the condition. And then the, the red light goes off and I've disabled the station. This was the old way to do it, and uh, the problem with this is that uh, you, there could be a, a scenario where in your train would be caught in the middle blocking traffic. So let me demonstrate that right now. The supply train is attempting to offload its, uh, uh, offload its fuel here at this, at this fuel depot, and, uh, but it can't go there yet because it's, uh, the destination is destination full. That's not right. Oh, it's disabled. Yeah, yeah. Train, train stops disabled. So we have 121 fuel in here. So it, the condition is not yet met. So let me pull some out of this one. And so my bot will start uh, start doing its, its deal. And eventually when this gets underneath 100, you see right above my head, it'll get under 100 and bang. Then here comes the supply train. The supply train is going to come try and fill this up. I've got it blocked off. The condition, the empty condition won't be met, but the inactivity will, right? So offload all its fuel, and then your other trains are supplied with fuel. And what you can also do is uh, you can then drag this over to a few other trains that need it, etc., and bring along here and fill up this one, etc., right? So lots of good options for, uh, for, a, for an outpost. And you can make uh, several outposts. And you see now that I've got over 100, it's re-disabled this fuel depot. So as soon as this finishes up, uh, then I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, trigger it now. Um, it go, it'll go back to supply. It'll fill up, and then it's going to wait. All right, it's going to wait until another, another um, signal somewhere on the map is enabled for fuel depot. The issue, though, is... Okay, see, I have lots of traffic going along here. The issue, though is if there's something where someone's either building or maybe, a, I don't know, a biter gets to it. I don't know if a biter, biter would get to it like that, but something where this chest is, uh, is the signal is disrupted in, at, at some point. So let me pull some out, and there the, the signal is, is given, and it finds its path, but now I put the stuff back in. Well, now the train is re-disabled. Many people have this problem all over the Reddit questions. Questions is enabling and disabling a train. Fuel Depot is one of those use cases. Well, now I've got a train stuck on main line. And now my other trains start to back up. 
This one's going to back up. All of the traffic is going to stop because I have this. I I messed up the condition where this train is going to be disabled or enabled. Here is the superior way that guards against this. Okay, and what we're going to use now, the new way over here on the on the right side, is it's going to be the chest is going to go same same thing, same configuration. Let's go ahead and block it off. The chest is going to go to a decider, and the decider is going to be output L, or uh, is going to output L either one or nothing. Okay. And right now, the train limit L is set to is set to nothing, uh, or set to one because the train limit is is wait a second is going to be one. There you go. Uh, the train limit. Well, if once it's underneath a hundred, we're going to set the train limit to L, which is going to be one. If it's over a hundred, it's going to go to input count. It's going to be something. It's going to be something different. So, so let me let me test that right now. You see the train limit is it's not going to be able to call a train so let me connect this one up and now once the train is declared it doesn't really matter how much i have in there i've met i've destroyed the condition but it's still going to come on to the train to the train line that's because the reservation system once the train is called and reserved it always uh it is going to keep going there until it uh, it's going to it's going to satisfy its condition the new way to do it, it reads this chest, says if it's going to go under, then it's going to output L to 1. And then that puts a 1 in this guy right here. Instead of enabling and disabling, it just controls this number. So uh, with a simple uh, insert of one more wire and a decider combinator to this configuration, I'll give you a minute if you want to snapshot this with a screen capture. Snapshot this guy and throw that condition on a decider, and then wire that up. So, um, input to input to the chest. Don't loop them. Output to the train stop. This will this will eliminate that use case where a train will get stuck in uh, in, in transit. <coughs> so then, what I do is, all right, here's my iron supply, and I want to. I want to be able to fuel up that iron supply as well. So what I'm going to do is, while I'm building this, I'm going to go ahead and copy this over. Here's your blueprint. And then for my train lines, I'm going to have me... Some call request. Actually, I'm going to take it out of this one. Put in a smaller robo port just right here. So that the bot is in here. Let's see if it goes there. Yep. So now the the cult, the bot needs to get the fuel from uh, from here. So I think it's ready to go. Maybe I'll put in a few more. So now we've called the train line. And let's go ahead and signal this up. There we go. Now the bot's doing its job. Oop. Let's go ahead and do that. So the bot's going to pull out of here. It's going to offload as much as it can. In the slotted area. Speed that up a little bit. And now the condition will, once it goes over 100, it'll set its condition back. This guy is going to not empty out. It's going to do its, do its thing. And then uh, we can be sure that uh, the train is is refueled. And now I can just kind of leave that alone. All right, I can now do something similar here for all my other ones. And at some point, your trains will just will automatically fuel up, and they will stay fueled up, and continually be called. So that eliminates the uh, the condition where a train could possibly get stuck because that was that station was enabled disabled. Uh, it, this uh, train limit guards against that use case. All right. So let's 
put in another one over here. I would probably end up blueprinting something something like this. If your trains are trains look like this, you can also use belts. I'm just going to use bots for simplicity's sake. And these are really close together in my demo, but this could be on the way on the left side of the map. This one's on the way up north. This one's way out on the right side of the map. And you want to make sure the trains at all these outposts are full. Uh, the takeaway here is don't do uh, don't do a straight enable disable from the chest to the train stop. Go ahead and make use of uh, of that train set limit. Use a decider. Uh, one circuit, easy lifting, two wires, and uh, and you'll you'll guard against that. It's just a superior way to do it. All right, all right. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have a, any questions, le again, leave them in the comments section below. If you want to swing by, catch me live, and go to twitch.tv backslash clowntown. Uh, we can talk Factorio or whatever it is you want to you want to do. If you have questions about this or you want to bring that to me, I also have a Discord. You can post your blueprint in there if you're having trouble with it. Uh, hit me up. I'm always here to help. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>